Hey, what's happening everybody? In our previous video, we talked about the four troubleshooting steps, the common workflow you can apply no matter what gear you're using uh, to try to solve your, your problem as quickly as possible. But in this video, I wanna apply that to some my connectivity gear. I wanna apply it to a workflow and a setup that I typically use. And that's having a MIDI controller with me on stage uh, uh, connected to a Mio XM, which is connected via ethernet to a network switch, which then is connected to a Play Audio One U, which is off stage, that's out of frame right now, but we'll take a picture of it so you can see it in our rig. Um, and then that Play Audio One U is connected to our playback rig uh, using a USB-C cable. Um, and the scenario and setup is I wanna be able to remotely control my playback rig and transport from my MIDI controller. You can see me pressing play, pressing stop, it's not working. Working. At this point, we tend to panic, we get frustrated. Let's apply those four steps and see how quickly we can solve our problem. So step one, like we talked about, is just to breathe. Just take a deep breath, slow things down, take 10 seconds now to save 10 minutes later. Okay, step away, change your context, change your scenario, and then come back into the scenario because we often get what I call stage brain, right? We get to our lowest level of intelligence when the show is about to start, when problems are occurring and we can't think and we start to panic. And pros really know how to just be in the moment to stay calm and to solve problems. But just take a deep breath. Then number two, let's check the basics. So I'm gonna go through all the basics. Uh, my cables are connected, USB-C cables, power cables. I'm gonna check all of my ethernet cables. Now, uh, everything seems to be connected here. Um, my Play Audio One U, I know all my cables are good there. Um, it's not the basics, it's not the cables, right? And I, truthfully, I'm not gonna check my, my network switch. I'm a pro and pros don't need to check their net, ethernet cables. Of course it's plugged in, right? I'm not an idiot, right? So the next thing we've got to do though is clearly define our problem. Now, often we'll define our problem as, I can't hear my playback rig. My playback rig isn't working. Well, that's not incredibly helpful. It doesn't help us troubleshoot because in reality, I'm pretty sure if I press play, let's see, right? If I press play, I can hear my song start. There we go. I hear my playback rig. So that's not my problem. My problem is my MIDI controller is not controlling my playback rig. And even more specifically, Ableton, my computer is not getting my MIDI controller. Now that's something we can work with. Now step four is we want to visualize our signal flow and we want to figure out where our problem is. So what do I mean by signal flow? Well, I'm going to literally walk through every piece of gear I have here. What order is it plugged in? And I'm going to try to find where the issue is. Now, um, I would suggest physically going through your gear this way. It may be helpful to grab a Sharpie and to draw out your signal flow to make sure you don't forget anything. Um, maybe even show up prepared with a signal flow document already on your phone, on a tablet that you can walk through and go, yep, check that, check that, uh, to try to find where that issue is. Now, thankfully with iConnectivity gear, there's some monitors that are built in to both the XM and the XL and the Play Audio One U to help us visually see um, what is sending and receiving MIDI, right? And that's a really helpful utility to help us figure out where the issue is occurring. So practically, let's let's start to try this to see if we can solve this problem. Um, what I wanna do is figure out is the problem happening uh, between my MIDI controller and my Mio XM, my Mio XM and my network switch, my network switch and my Play Audio One U, or my Play Audio One U and my computer. So let's do some testing. Again, really nice feature built into the XM and the XL is this little front panel MIDI monitor. So I'm just gonna quickly start with pressing play on my MIDI controller. All right, immediately see the USB MIDI light light up here. That tells me the connection from my MIDI controller to my XM is good. What, what does that information tell me? Well, one, I'm starting on one side and I'm working towards the end, towards able to line. I'm not gonna switch sides and start from the other side and work this way. I'm starting from the sending side and gonna work to the receiving side. And doing this test, that tells me, okay, it's not an issue with USB MIDI, okay? Um, uh, on the front panel of the Play Audio One U, I also have uh, a monitor, so I could press play on that. And I really quickly see, again, we'll, we'll put some photos in here so you can see this because I don't have a camera to show you. Um, the front panel is not lighting up, so I know it's not an issue with the Play Audio One U. So that tells me that it's between my Mio XM and my Play Audio One U where the problem is happening. Because I see this light lighting up, I know it's not my MIDI controller, I know it's not my USB cable, okay? So I know it's somewhere between my XM, this Ethernet connection, 
and my play ID one U. So then that allows me to go and focus specifically in this area on that problem, okay? So I'm gonna go back and check the basics and check the cable. I know it's not the connection to the network switch, I'm not an idiot, right? And, ooh, okay. So again, another reason to reiterate the basics, number two, check the basics. It's always the cable. So I maybe glossed over this for whatever reason. I was a little panicked, I had stage brain. It's fine, we're now here, we find ourselves in this situation. I'm gonna plug this in and let's see what happens now. Now, the beauty of the Mio XM is it actually told me, I didn't say anything about this, but it told me there was a problem going on because USB MIDI was lighting up, but if you noticed earlier, RTP MIDI, I don't know if you can see that or not, but RTP MIDI was not lighting up. So when I press that, okay, now it's lighting up because that connection has been made and a connection has been established. But, um, and this is what I expect to see, but before it was just simply USB MIDI. So now let's check out uh, everything all together. I can press play. You can see Ableton is playing. Uh, I'll press stop, it's stopping. When I press play on my controller and I look over at my Play Audio One U, I see the front panel lighting up, right? That MIDI monitor is incredibly, incredibly helpful. So if you've got iConnectivity gear, you're already a step ahead of everyone else because you've got those built-in MIDI monitors to try to help find the problem a little faster. But if not, and no matter what gear you're using, apply that four-step prop process to quickly solve your problems. Now, if you've got another minute or two, let's just do a quick recap and I've got some additional tips um, that I wanna share with you to make sure you get this. Again, number one, it's always the cable. I know we talked about this. Check your cables, check your power, check your ethernet connections, your quarter inch connections, XLR connections, because 99.9% .9 of the time, it's always the cable. Number two, it's always the simple solution. I know you wanna think you're an IT pro and you wanna get in, you wanna open terminal on Mac and do all these things it's typically the simple things. It's typically not a complex issue. It's it's typically not a bug. It's typically something simple like a cable. So start there. Number three, use the screens on your Mio XM, Mio XL, Play Audio One U to see where in the chain and the signal flow the problem is occurring. Now on your computer, an app that I really like that's been helpful is a free app and it's called MIDI Monitor. I'll include the link below this, but you can see when I press play on my MIDI controller here, um, I am automatically seeing every piece of MIDI information that's flowing to my computer. Now, in fact, when I work with clients and I set up on stage performance networks, uh, I ask that they put MIDI Monitor, which is a free app on every single computer. And there's equivalents of MIDI Monitor that you can find on, on uh, mobile uh, phones and, and tablets as well. But I really personally love the MIDI Monitor app. Number five, again, as a reminder, just breathe. I know we said this before, I know you're a professional, but just take 10 seconds. 10 seconds now will save you 10 minutes later. And then finally, and this is a really fun one that I borrowed from my friends that are software developers, try the rubber ducky method. And what is that? Well, it's this idea of finding someone to um, explain the problem and walk them through every step that you have done to troubleshoot. Now, if you don't have someone around that would help, have some sort of inanimate object like a rubber ducky. This is something software developers would often use and tell your problem and explain your troubleshooting tips to your rubber ducky. For example, I don't have a rubber ducky, but I have a coffee cup here. So I'm gonna set my coffee cup here and I'm gonna to explain to the coffee cup that uh, my MIDI controller is not connecting to Ableton Live. And I've checked, uh, checked all my cables. I checked my USB-C cable, checked my ethernet cable from the XM um, uh, to my network. Oh, and then suddenly you realize I didn't check that cable and you catch it. Uh, the rubber ducky method has really come in handy for me, whether again, you're talking to an actual physical human that can talk back or an inanimate object, but just uh, moving it from your head and your thoughts and verbalizing it, you'll often find the issue a lot faster that way. So that's a couple tips and tricks to help you troubleshoot and find uh, answers to your problems. Again, if you're doing complex MIDI setups on stage, trying to create an on-stage performance network, I would highly suggest you check out the Mio XM, the Mio XL, and the Play Audio on You because they will, one, be rock solid, they'll be stable. And if you find yourself having an issue like I did before, you got that front panel to help you solve and find the issue a lot faster. If you have any issues you can't solve, we would love to help. Click the link in the description of this video to check out our knowledge base. Uh, and if you can't find an article there that helps, then you'll be able to contact our support team. But thanks so much for watching, and we hope to see you on the next one. Uh, here's to a lot of performances and stages where everything works every single time and no issues. See you on the next one. Bye, everybody.